Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We are celebrating 300,000 years of non-stop upload. No, just a subscriber. Because if this is 300,000 years of non-stop upload, I don't know how many videos. Because right now, I'm probably on my 9, 10,000 videos on, on two years here. But thank you. Thank you for your support. Okay, Virgos. It's interesting because I had my, what do you call it, um, Spotify. Okay. The song I was playing was uh, Jennifer Hudson, is that Spotlight? You're in the spotlight, Virgo. It, your season is just warming up, okay? It's just warming up, Virgo, okay? Mars has three more days in Leo, okay? Mercury and Venus and the Sun is already with you, okay? You got Emperor, okay? So a lot of um, a lot of people are having health problem. You probably will be better than them, okay? <laughs> It's a health scare. You gotta try it. And it'll be fine. Not worry with you. Okay. You got the Hierophant, which is Taurus. Um, a lot of people will be scared with your debts because that's a sixth house energy. Okay. Um, enemies is coming out also. People are jealous with you. They're coming out. Okay. But you're gonna be conquering them because you've got Mars coming in. Okay. You got lovers here. You're gonna be very, very critical with your with your partner. Mercury, Venus. Uh huh. Make your natural ruler and wise decision will come to you because you will not resonate with pleasure. You will have logic. Venus just loves pleasure. That's one thing. Love, 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 love. No limit. Okay. But Mercury is our ruler of our mind. Third house, natural third house. Our choices. Gemini, Taurus, and uh, Cancer and uh, Aries. And extended. Okay. So that's what I can see here. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. <laughs> come on, Sal. No, we're just starting. Mm-hmm. Um, so healthy decisions with your love life with your partner, that's going to be good. You won't, you won't be, you won't be wishy-washy in this energy. I'm not saying that you are, but finally, either, remember, everything, everywhere Mars goes, it will destroy it first before it can be built. Okay? So hold your horses, <laughs> because if you want to break through a cycle, use that energy. Okay? There we go. Where goes? Let's get this one first. You got here, okay, messenger of fire. Ooh, I feel like you're feeling young and vibrant. Bro, you can feel young and vibrant too, okay? This is no gender. This is all about energy. Okay, feeling young and vibrant. Mm. Um, I feel like you're either you're what, skin peeling, doing some sort of health regimen, trying to get back the years. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So you, you, you're buying some anti-aging stuff or you're co uh, consulting cos cosmetic surgeons. Uh, maybe a little bit nip talk over here and there. You know, it's like it doesn't hurt until it starts hurting. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing here. But I feel like you're naturally young also. So um, I feel like those are just addition. It's not really a requirement for you right now. You're just feeling like, well, might as well, you know, a little bit of here, a little bit of there. You got options on making your aesthetic more, okay? Uh, you want to be more perfect, interesting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you have kids, I think they're, they're about to have a um, celebrating our baby, celebration, their birthday, or they're having a baby, okay? Okay. 
might have a daughter who's uh, okay, pregnant. I'm sorry if I outed her. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Got two of water. Um, so even if a two of cups. I told you it's your time. <laughs> Spotlight. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo -hoo. I don't know how to do Jennifer Hudson. I can do Hudson River in New York, but not Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, I sound like the river. <laughs> so there's a message of love coming your way from that person. I like it. Okay, goldfish over here. Feeling lucky at the same time, blessed with this person. You guys have this feeling of like, I wonder where, when are we going to meet? I wonder, da, da, da. you guys are going to meet each other to a quarter. It is right here. Mm. 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 Very, very positive. I like it. Let's go for the tarot, yeah? Try it. Mm, told you. They're coming to see you. Mm -hmm. I see you when you get there. See you when you get there. So you'll see this person when you get there, okay? I hope that song is not about dying. Okay? Nobody's dying. But um, the way it operates, okay, you just consider an energy. Look at them on their seventh house. I thought it's Sag. Okay? This person is attracted to more of an earth sign. They attract that energy. The Capricorn, the more centered on their career, you know, um, well established because they need what does a consider need? A home because they're a crab, right? So they need that security they react on the seventh house so when you know a person's chart you know how they operate mm -hmm. you got it oh uh-huh so tell me more because he's a he's he, he's a he's a taurus okay so he's an aries so, so you have to consult an astrologer the personal reading is right there description box if you need some seven of wands you're not having it with this person right now even though they're coming towards you not sure what happened. Okay. You're not happy. Mm hmm. Not sure why. I feel like uh, you're saying like it's too late. I don't want it. You know, when you're hungry and you're in a restaurant, very, very hungry. And then you got, you know, you got your food served late. You know, it was a Friday night. It was a Saturday night. It was busy. Kitchen was slammed. I have to be on the side of the kitchen because I'm a chef. Okay. So it didn't come out on time. Okay. I don't want this anymore. Yeah. This is what you're going to have. Took too much. Took too long. Now that they're in a rush, you're not having it. You lost your appetite for love. You lost your appetite. You lost appetite for this person. Mm hmm. But you really love this person. This double concern energy here. Mm hmm. Who can be a Capricorn also. You really, really love this person. You guys have good memories. Deep feelings were shared between the two of you because you have the two of cups. You have the two of water. Two of wands. Okay. So they're wondering why right now you're not being open to them. They have the questions like, I wonder why the Virgo is literally not opening up. And Seven of Wands also, is, it's not just about not opening up. You have to set some limit like, okay, well, you know what? If they don't respond or if they don't text or if they don't reach out or if they don't see me, there's this, 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 this. Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune. Oh. But this person is coming around to you. It's right here. Luck is in your side. I told you, spotlight. But you are really not having it. Wow. When the Virgo does not want it, the Virgo does not want it. And that's what it is here. I don't want it. Take it away. I feel like you have a similar energy, I feel, like to another zodiac that they really don't want the connection anymore. It's almost like. I'm just tired of this thing, Sal, where we really don't see each other eye to eye. And I'm just, you know, it's like if they cannot meet me where I'm at with my standards or whatever I just, you know, require or tell them, I'm not. Just take it away. <laughs> Fine, I'll take away. Yes, ma'am, we will take away your food and we will have it um, uh, complimentary to the house. Thank you. 
not having it. Okay, cross watcher, vice versa. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading because it does it does come to you, but you don't want it. Okay, then we'll just give it to the kitchen again. Okay, Gemini, Taurus, uh, Cancer, and Aries, they will all get extended readings separate from this. Okay. Thank you very much for always tuning in and for supporting this channel. This has grown because of the Virgos, the single Virgos, the committed Virgos, the cheated Virgos, and the Virgos that are soon to be in a relationship. Thank you. <laughs> Paalam. Paki like, paki share. Bye. Ciao. Okay, wow, definitely. Empress, I come to you. Yep, they see your abundance. They see the... This is that person. But you feel like this is a missed opportunity already. It's like I loved them before, but not anymore. I just don't have feel. Gemini needs to make a decision. Two of Swords. Okay. 